In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believe that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim the mysterious fruit known as the star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. Ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to Stardew Valley. The weather tomorrow is going to be clear and sunny all day. Oh, we got living off the land. Now what we got? Ever had the urge to dig around your neighbor's trash? Ew, hey, if that's your thing, just don't do it when anyone's around. If they notice you, they'll be seriously grossed out and it'll harm your friendship. Well, unless they're into the same thing, like Linus is. Anyway, it is the fest, uh, the feast of the winter star today. Do you miss that as a last night jo Oh yeah, I completely forgot about that. I passed out in front of my house. Ugh, and they still charge me money. Which is ridiculous. Anyway, I've got to clean up my pockets. Uh, I've got to grab... Uh, some uh, some presents or a gift for uh, Sebastian because it, he is our secret gifter or secret uh, Santa person I guess and uh, I will be right back oh oh hello look at this we got a duck feather from our duck he's only at one heart that's crazy how on earth did I manage to get that this early um, do I oh I think I've already got one um, for whatever bundle I needed it for. I think it was actually the Enchanter's bundle. No, it wasn't. Never mind. That was Rabbit's Foot. But I do need to sell one, so that's pretty dang good. I'm really happy with that. You know what else I'm going to do today, since I've got the time to, is, uh, is actually finish off doing the little bit of path which I needed to do. Um, because remember there was some, like, uh, artifact worms in the way and stuff like that. So, quickly do this before the Fest of the Winter Star begins. Guys, this is the penultimate episode of winter, which is pretty crazy, pretty awesome. I'm looking forward to spring. I need much more iridium though. So maybe I'll do that tomorrow, who knows? All right, grab our stepping stones and put them there, actually. Oh, well, the fest of the winter star has begun, fantastic. I'll get rid of that, the clay, and pop that down there. Pop that up here. I actually bought uh, only the two bits of uh, weathered flooring there that I thought I need, but apparently I need more. Uh, so I'll, you know what, I'll just grab all of it. I think I'm actually going to be left with one more piece, which is, um, <clears throat> kind of funny. Got a bit of a frog in my throat today, apparently. So let's put that down. Come on, Yolanda, let's go. Um, let's put that down. <clears throat> and just general bits of cleaning up. Anyway, uh, I'll do this. Grab my, uh, gift for Sebastian, our secret gift person. And I will meet you guys in the town center. Okay, here we are. Welcome to the, the Feast of the Winter Star, I believe it's called. So let's go around and talk to some people. Welcome to the Feast of the Winter Star. Oh, okay. Today is a time to be thankful for this year's good fortune. Forget your worries and for a day and relax. Jazz is over there checking out the presents. Ooh, presents. Got Pam and Penny here. <laughs> I'm still upset I didn't win the ice fishing competition. What a beautiful tree. Uh, do you want to hear the legend of the winter star? Sure thing. In the night sky of winter, there is a bright star only visible from this valley. No one knows why this is, but in times of old, people would come from far and wide to see it. They believe that anyone who laid eyes on the winter star would be blessed with good fortune. Some even claim the mysterious fruit known as the star drop is connected to the winter star in some way. Uh, hey, good afternoon. Hello indeed. Linus, buddy, what you doing all the way over there on your own? I'd join in, but I don't think I'm welcome. Ah, you're welcome with me, buddy. Uh, give Sebastian his secret gift. Sure thing, there you go. Oh, so it's you! Ha, a frozen tear, thanks. Oh. Oh, do I... Oh, I trigger my secret gift. That way. Oh, does that end the festival? I hope it doesn't. Oh, hey, our secret gift giver is Leia. That's pretty cool. Or Leia. Leia. What you got for me? Let's see. Hey, Dazza, I'm your secret gift giver this year. Here, open it. Doesn't that sort of defeat the purpose of being secret? What we got? Something cool? Ooh, an emerald. Okay, I can sell that. <laughs> you received an emerald. Uh, it's not much, but I hope you like it. I do. Thank you, Leah. I mean, look at my smiley cat face. <laughs> Alright, I think uh, I may have just inadvertently ended it. Oh, no, I didn't. That's cool. We can still carry on talking to people. Hey, Robin. Well, hi, Dazza. You're welcome to join our family table if you need company. Oh, I didn't even notice that this was a family around here. Hi, Dazza. Oh, that was boring. <laughs> Demetrius. I'll probably get another tool this year. Oh, I wouldn't mind tools. Tools are cool. Can we open presents now? Sure thing. Oh yeah, this must... Wow. Can I get past? This must be uh, Jody's table because there's pancakes on it. 
Can I go around this way? I'm gonna have to go around this way. Is there anyone else hiding around here? Trash can? Nothing in there? Uh, Alex, what do you say, buddy? Oh, hello. Well, that was boring. Oh my, aren't you cold, dear? It's freezing. A feast for some stupid star. Humbug. Alright, George. It's not a good time of year for a diet. Very true. I'm thankful for my guitar and my skateboard. Oh, and my family, I guess. So materialistic. I hope there's a new camera for me under the spirit tree. The spirit tree. What do you hope to find under the spirit tree this year? A new watering can, a jug of spiced mead, a pair of stu- Jug of spiced mead. Ooh, that sounds nice. Make sure to give me a taste. You got it. I'm thankful there were no med medical emergencies this year. It's fine art, making candy canes. You've really got to search far and wide for the best ingredients. They aren't easy to come by these days. Gus was just telling me all about his artisan candy canes. Yawn. I know, right? Why, hello, Dazza. It's chilly, isn't it? It is. <sighs> all these happy families. But for me, just another lonely year. Aw, oh, Clint. One day you'll get Emily. I've met some people who believe in spirits and magic. But me, I've never seen anything that couldn't be explained by science. I have the exact same philosophy. Just saying. Ooh, I've had too much nog. <laughs> oh dear. My sales figures have been phenomenal lately, thanks to the Feast of the Winter Star. Yeah, caring about all he ever cares about. Money. Nothing like a piping hot feast on a cold winter's day, huh? You got it. Do I get to eat any of this, or no? What are you doing over here? Can I talk to you again? No. So yeah, that's, that's the Feast of the Winter Star. Pretty much nothing interesting about it. <laughs> you get a free gift, and you have to give a gift to someone. Although, one thing that's interesting about the, fest of the uh, Feast of the Winter Star is that after the festival, and I don't know if this bug has been patched out yet, or if it even is a bug. Yeah, look at this. Pam is still here, and you can still go to the desert, which I always thought was kind of interesting, and I'm going to do. Uh, why am I going to do it? Well, because I want to get more starfruit seeds. Pretty much the only reason. Uh, hopefully today I can go and get some more iridium. That would be fantastic. Um, so I don't even know actually if the oasis closes at a certain time or if I just wasted a bunch of money doing this Oh, yep wasted a bunch of money. Well, okay, maybe it's closed because it's a festival day But I thought I'd show that nonetheless So I guess we will keep our emerald in this chest here so we can give it to someone else and Head to bed early. <laughs> I Mean we've got pretty much everything done today that we can get done. Can I pick up that gold bar, please? Thank you. Yeah, we got everything done today that we can. I mean, there's not a lot you can do on a festival day. Uh, I have to go and upgrade my final tool tomorrow, which is going to be great. Okay. Uh, Merry Christmas, Jackson. Merry Christmas indeed. Now let's head to bed. <laughs> One of the quickest days ever. We're 11 minutes in, and we've already finished day 25 of winter. How about that? bunch of money there. We actually got a lot of money from the other section. I don't know what that could have been, but probably all of the stuff which we picked up from the mines, like, because I sold all the void essences, uh, white algae, slime, sap, you know, stuff like that. So just because of the sheer number of how many things we had there, probably where we got a bunch of money from. So fingers crossed the day we have decent luck. Come on, show me your luck. Ah, oh, somewhat annoyed. Okay, it's gonna be a few inches of snow tomorrow, apparently. Uh, okay, so let's oh see what we got here. Hey Dazza, I was conducting a field uh, study the other day and I found a specimen. Okay. Oh, and another male. Uh, I want to make fish stew, but I need an albacore. Ooh. I know that almost out I'm going to say no to that. I mean, you don't really get too much great stuff from doing it, so <laughs> whatever. Uh, let's quickly take Yolanda here and see what we've got in our fruit bat cave. I'm hoping for a pomegranate. Because there's still only two more things that we need in order to complete our um, to complete our community center before the first year is up. We don't have to do it in this year, but we can. Uh, we need uh, a truffle, which we're not going to get, and we need a pomegranate. Those are the only two things we need, and we would have finished like everything. Pomegranate? No. Some cherries and salmon berries. That's it. That makes me sad. Okay, let's check our greenhouse, make sure there's anything in there that we can grab. Uh, some corn again. Okay, I guess, oh, guess we'll just pluck it because we can. Again, I've got corn in there to grow the tortillas, but I think we've got all the tortillas we need. Okay, before I do my animals today, I'm going to head to the traveling merchant, and hopefully she's got a pomegranate and a truffle for us. I don't want to eat the corn, thank you very much. And we have nothing worth getting. Makes me sad. Oh well. Never mind. 
Alright, time to sort my animals out for today. We didn't get a duck egg today, which is a little bit disappointing, not gonna lie. But it's probably because we got the duck feather yesterday, so I'm alright with that. Uh, let's just sell all of these, why not? Okay, and let's grab our iridium bars. And why not grab the stuff we need to go mining? I kind of want to do it. Uh, before we go, let's put some gold out to smelt. Uh, because we've got the gold and we've got the uh, coal to do it, so we may as well. I don't think I've actually got enough decent stuff on me. Um, pardon me burping. To make a decent mining trip. Three bombs, no food. You know, it's not exactly fantastic, is it? Uh, we don't ha even have any spicy eels, so... Um, hmm, I don't know. I think what I'm gonna have to do is set up a bunch of farming stuff in... Oh, I've got loads of cave carrots. Five, never mind. <laughs> um, hmm, maybe I'll take a rain check on that. Anyway, I've gotta go see Clint anyway. But what I was gonna say is maybe I will, um, start farming uh, stuff in my greenhouse, like dedicate my f greenhouse while I can to uh, stuff I need for like making decent food for the mines, like spicy eel isn't exactly great to do. Oh, you know what I should do as well before I upgrade all of these? Is crack open all of those geodes. I'm going to do that. But yeah, uh, spicy eel isn't going to be too great to do because of... Um, uh, what was I saying? Spicy eel isn't going to be too great to do that for because catching the lava eels is going to be a pain in the butt. I think that's what you need. Um, spicy eel? Oh, I don't actually, I haven't actually cooked it. Never mind. I can find it in the fridge, I guess, but I, I'm fairly certain it's a lava eel and pepper pot, or peppers. Let's have a look. Uh, if you go into the oven here, I'm fairly certain you can see it. All I've got to do is, oh, that's fried eel. Have I even unlocked the recipe for spicy eel? Maybe not. Let's see if I can find it. Turns out I haven't unlocked the recipe for it yet anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is try and focus on getting pumpkin soup. You just need pumpkin and milk. And considering I've got pumpkins in here, I have one pumpkin. I can turn them into seeds using the seed maker. And it might take me a while to get a decent stock of them. I don't know what I jumped up there for. Oh, 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 I've got some in the gift chest. Haven't I? Yes, I have. Oh, fantastic. How many of these do I want? Like, ten? Let's go for ten. Oh, so glad I spotted that. Okay, let's turn some of these into seeds and plant them, because I can, I will, I shall, and I'm going to. So I've got some spaces watered. Um, haven't converted all of the pumpkins that I want to yet anyway. I think what I'm going to do is actually buy some speed grow from Pierre. Um, probably not really worth it. I, I think I'm going to do 24, which is like three sprinklers worth of pumpkins. In fact, I I know I definitely don't have enough room for that. Oh, oh, it's Clint's birthday. Uh, you want 35 pieces of stone, they need to be fresh, that means gather today. Eh, nah, not worth it. Probably not going to go to the mines anymore. I think what I'll do today is make a gifting trip now that it's sort of like close to the end of the day. And in fact, I need to make sure that I get to Clint's before four. So... That might be my next stop. Oh hey, how about that? A fresh diamond to give to Clint. Almost forgot my geo. All right, we made it just in time to see old Clinty boy. You remember my birthday? I'm impressed, thanks. Wait, was a, uh, was a diamond like not his favorite thing? Diamonds are a Clint's best, uh, favorite thing. Anyway, let's break open these geodes and hope we get something cool. New stuff would be great. That looks fairly new. Ooh, three iridium ore. That's pretty neat. So something I noticed, actually, is that the background of the star piece is that little purple thing directly underneath Clint there. Um, that actually um, had a purple background to it, meaning it's worth over 500 gold. So I think the buff I got from, um, from uh, mining level 10, where I chose like gems are worth 30% more, I think that includes stuff you can break out of um, out of these uh, geodes here because I, I don't remember hardly any of these being worth more than 500 gold, which is pretty crazy. And we're now starting to get some pretty lame stuff as well. I'm hoping I can just take a bunch of this over to the museum and donate it like pretty quickly and also get rid of some stuff like clay and I don't know, fire quartz might be worth keeping. You don't have enough room in your inventory. I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. Oh dear, this is a bad idea. Hopefully I get back to Clint's before four o'clock. 
Donate to museum. Yeah, we got two new things. Which, like, isn't amazing, but hey, we're slowly filling this up. Oh no, we got more than two things. We got four things. But, yeah, like I said, we're slowly filling this up, which is great. Probably not going to finish it this Let's Play, let's be honest. Um, there's just way too much stuff to collect. Uh, let's talk back to you and collect the rewards. What do we get for that? I think this crystal chair... Oh, a free crystallarium? I will take that. Definitely. Everything else I'm going to leave. So, yeah, but anyway, get back to Clint's. Break open some more geodes. And then, fingers crossed, upgrade our thing before he shuts. Which is going to be fantastic. Okay, nothing else. Or no more room, so that's fine. Now let's upgrade. Wait, it won't let me upgrade my iridium watering can because my inventory is full. That is fine. I will just bin some clay. That's a bit weird, isn't it? Thanks, I'll get started on it. Huh, I wonder why it wouldn't let me do that. Anyway, that is done, which is fantastic. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do the gifting like I thought I would, but it's fine. Anything else I got that can be donated? Yes, the tiger's eye. Awesome. Wow, we're really filling that up. That's great. Anyway, back to the farm, I guess, to finish this pumpkin project. Free crystallarium. I have no idea what I'm going to put in that. Maybe another diamond for now. Would that make sense? Really? I don't know. Let's just sort out all the rest of this for now. Like my iron and stuff. And we didn't even get rid of all of our geodes. But that is all going in the bin. And by bin I mean obviously the selling bin. I might take out some more pumpkins to convert. Because I want to make three sprinklers full. And then I'll grab some gifts to give to people. I mean it's it's winter after all. It's the season of giving. Okay there we go. So I'm going to keep a pumpkin in here anyway. It's not a normal quality pumpkin. It's, just, it's a silver quality one which is fine. And get our seed from it. We actually got two which is fine. I'm more than happy by, of keeping a couple more seeds in here. Should I plant that extra ancient fruit? I don't know. I don't know if I should, because I'm trying to keep one of each seed. Um, it's pretty late, <laughs> not going to lie, but I'm hoping that I can gift people before I go to bed today, so that is the plan. I'm going to actually drop my tools off in this chest and try and get over to the saloon, because that's where the majority of people are going to be. So in a strange twist of events, I'm actually not going straight to the... Um, did I not bring an egg? I did bring an egg. I'm not going straight to the saloon because I want to see if I can catch Evelyn. And I can. Uh, yeah, she's here with George. George, don't worry, buddy. Your time is going to shine. It's going to be spring soon. And we're going to have lots of leeks to give you. <laughs> Which sounds really strange. We're going to have lots of leeks for you, George. Okay. Ooh, who was that? That is Penny. I'm already at eight hearts with you, so that's fine. Okay, so Lewis and Marnie. Let's start off with you two. He's your favourite. That's your favourite. Leah over there, I can give the goat's cheese. Uh, Clint, or not Clint, Gus, you can have a diamond. Emily and Pam, you are already fine. Willie, you get the pumpkin. Okay, Robin also gets the goat's cheese. Sam over here gets the cactus fruit. Uh, Sebastian, actually, I know I didn't bring you anything, but do I need to? No, I don't. Okay, cool. Uh, my Robin and Lewis are all at nine hearts. That's great. Uh, so I've got Haley, Harvey. Oh, Harvey? No, that's Pierre. Hmm, okay. Um, I've also got to give stuff to Jack. Oh, I think the house is shut at eight, doesn't it? So I'm probably not going to be able to go see, like, Jazz, Vincent, and, yeah, 8 p.m. That kind of stinks, but I did bring something for the wizard, so I guess I'm going to quickly go see him, and also see if I can catch up with the other two people that like pumpkins. One of them is Krobus, but I can't remember the other. Oh, it's Abigail. We don't need to give Abigail anything yet anymore, either. That's pretty cool. So really, I've just got stuff here for the the wizard and the, uh, the Krobus. <laughs> And also the dwarf. I'll go give him something as well. Hey buddy, this is purple just like your hair. How'd you like it? Okay, let's give this pumpkin to Krobus. And it is Friday as well actually, so I can buy an Iridium Sprinkler off him. That would be the majority of my money. What did I spend all my money on? Did I really just spend all my money on pumpkin stuff? <laughs> Not pumpkin stuff. I really want the return scepter. It's amazing. Um, but yeah, like... On the stuff for the pumpkins, so like, oh no no no! I, I upgraded my iridium, or I upgraded my watering can to iridium, and I broke a bunch of uh, geodes, didn't I? So that's where the money went. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna get something for the dwarf, and I will probably be done for today. Then next episode is the last one of winter. Crazy! Here you go, my friend. I'll never miss you out. 
So let's see. Um, what you got for us? Mega bomb for a thousand each. See, when we get loads of money, that is going to be how we get much further down into the uh, skull caverns. But not yet. All right, Yolanda, you can go up there, take some hay, eat, eat it all up. Yum, yum, yum. Let's get rid of that original sprinkler. It makes three in total. Get all of our equipment back out. Lovely. We've got so many just normal quality sprinklers now. 27. Which is fine, because we'll use those temporarily while we... Oh, we got the... Oh, that starfruit jam. Or starfruit jelly. Yeah, we'll use those temporarily while we build up our stock of uh, normal... Uh, sp uh, no, sorry. Iridium sprinklers. Starfruit jelly. Oh, that's going to be awesome. We'll get to bed before 1 o'clock tonight, which is going to be great. That's going to sell for a fair price there. All in all, we didn't go mining today, which is what I wanted to do, to get more iridium for that iridium band and then iridium sprinklers. But I'm willing to bet we're going to get at least like 10,000 here from all the stuff we're selling. So let's take a look. Farming alone was 5,000. Oh, we got 8,700. Yeah, that one. Oh, it's not there. Huh. Oh, wait, is it? Yeah, the starfruit jelly was worth 2,100 on its own. That's nuts. And what about all these minerals? Yeah, the star shards for 650, that's pretty good. Grood? Pretty rude. Uh, so, guys, thank you all very much for watching this episode of Stardew Valley. Hope you all enjoyed. Join me next time for the final episode of winter. I hope you're all as excited to start spring year two as I am. Oh, it's going to be so good. I've got so many plans. Although the first episode always takes up so much time of just literally farming. Anyway, like I said, hope you enjoy, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>